Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Proc Jam 2018. The Proc Jam is a procedural generation jam that challenges developers to make something that makes something. Basically, you're just meant to make um, something that has to do with generative software. It can be a game, it can be art, it can be music, it can be wallpapers, it can be whatever. And then you submit your work. There's no actual ending deadline, however, on October 19th to October 29th was when the actual like jam took place. There was also a bunch of talks and resources released, there were some asset packs released, some tutorials released, and more and more and more. Rock Jam is a really amazing jam, and if you want to help promote it, you should check out the jam page and take a look for next year's Proc Jam. I'm playing all of the things that were entered. We're checking them out for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual projects will be in the description so you can check them out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites up on Big Boss Battle, which you can see when that comes around. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. If you want to support what I do, consider checking out the links in the bottom of the description to my social media platforms and Patreon. Next. We're checking out the picks to picks height map thingy. Uh, I don't. Oh, this like makes different textured maps. Maybe size increase, decrease. I don't know. I don't really know what site mapping is. I don't really know what any of this is. Hmm. I don't really know how to use this, but it looks like a cool tool if you're making terrain. Next. We're checking out Mega Game Generator. So this generated this, so you can hit and it'll change. Um, so Rule the Thunder, the Mega Game. The air is contemporary, but in an alternate timeline to our own. The tone of the material is lighthearted, uh, and the emphasis of play is political operation. The game map is used directly by the players. So now this sort of makes what I think is just a physical game. And it generates a lot of aspects of it. There's also these, which look like code. I don't really know what this is, to be completely honest. But it is generating a lot of stuff. And the stuff that it's generating can all be read well and understood. So that's a very good start. So there are three form formalized modes of player interaction, each with a corresponding role. One type of resource, which is knowledge cubes. That sounds great. Um, these maps don't seem to have a whole lot on them. We're religious, communist, social, okay. Briefing. This generally lacks historical or genre knowledge. Okay, hmm. Seems very interesting to explore, though. Next. So we're checking out Pro Audio. Uh, when I launched this, I can probably show you again, actually. Right, so it automatically opens up, like, a folder here, and you can name something. Uh, I'm going to name it Project Proc Jam, if I can spell, and then just hit save. And then it sort of brings you to this screen where you're in the circle. And I'm not quite sure how it procedurally generates music or what I'm meant to do here. It says that squares are generated by audio, so I'm not sure if it wants me to, like, put in an audio file. Right, so maybe we're meant to, like, open this. I made it. So, like, what I've done is, it says save, though. What I've done is I've, like, saved some audio. It's of the intro for this video. And I figured maybe I could play that, but, like, I don't know. I'm not sure if this works quite as it's meant to. But it's a cool idea. Next. We're checking out procedural world. Oof, I moved that a lot. Uh, procedural world generators. This makes islands. Wait, I'm gonna do this noise scale one. I don't. I don't quite like islands. I like these little bits of land. I kind of look at that. So we can change the seed height multiplier. Ooh, flat. Whoa, I don't want this. But we'll make it about this big. So now it just changes. All right, all right, cool. I don't want my scale. My chunk size. Ooh. So yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff that you can really change here. Noise scale. That's cool. I like this one. I wish I could uh, move around, which generate and drop. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, we can explore around the land that we've created. That's exciting. 
I made this beautiful heli place that I've just generated. Wow. I think I like walking simulators way too much. Especially ones where I get to make the world. I'm quite floaty. Next. We're checking out turning reaction diffusion patterns. I probably said that right. Um, brush size. Okay, I don't like red and green together. But that's okay. I don't know what any of this does. Kill. Feed. Ooh. A only, B only. What's the difference between A and B? Fusion of what if we do that? that change that? Canvas size, so do 200. Noise, clear, noise. One simulate, oh! That was kind of cool, it, like, stop it. It sort of took everything away. All right. Weird. I don't really know what this is doing, but it seems like a very interesting and fun thing to play around with. Next. We're playing Crypt Crawler. Okay. I like our sword a lot. Can we cut this? Oh, we can just walk through it. I was like, oh no, I need to cut the vines. I like how the skeleton's bleeding when it gets hit. I like a good skeleton that bleeds. So this maze dungeon, ooh, a bat that throws stuff. This maze, du maze dungeon thing is what's generated. Oh, how dare you? No, that bat really did a number on me. We can also run. From there, I thought this was a dead end. Oh, it's a rat. I'm liking the sound effects and just the general look of this spooky place. I mean, I'm not sure if I'll actually, like, survive, but... we got a lot of, like, maze in front of- ah, in front of us. Not even a treasure in this empty room. What if I wanted a treasure? Oh no, there's something behind me. Oh, we might die here. Is this, is this, does this let us go further? No, it's just a pillar. Alright, next. We're playing jet jump. Among drones. Press space to jump. So I feel like, yeah, we don't want to hit drones. So, we kind of slide, do we not slide? How do we do this then? Hmm. Right, do not press space to slide down. I don't really slide down though, just the world. Oh, there we go. So I feel like I need to slide a bit. It's just a delayed. Yeah, how do I get in between those two? It's just a very delayed slide. Because for this, we need to kind of, like, I don't know. I don't know how to actually make it up, those two. Maybe, maybe that? This is very, ah, uh, very challenging game. Darn. Next. We're playing Name Eater. You stare down at the abyss. Weapon at your side. You are Bar Parasol, a lowly minion of hell. Begin your descent. You hit the ground with a thud and see Mora Bex. Do you drop Warlock, burning like an ember in the fog. Fell them swiftly. Your blade pierces the demon's heart. Did you consume more of a wit? You are now Baparasal. Do you drop Warlick? Moron uh, sees was guarding, was guarding one knowing hole leading deeper. You enter it. You see Grastola, Hel Herald Magis Magister, Blood Hunter of Serpent, standing strong. Slay them. You stab them. What part of them do you consume? Lust. You are now Parcel. Do drop Warlock. Herald Magister. You must go deeper. You encounter Fornacel, or orgasmic tyrant, consuming creator of pain, the doorway of ex ex 
executing flowers at the edge of the great fiery cliff, tormenting bodies hanging off it. End him. What do you consume? Uh, autonomy. You announce. We're just gaining more and more of these, like, um, like subcategories of what we are. This is a procedurally generated story. It's pretty interesting. You were demons slaying other demons and consuming bits of their soul. Next. We're checking out Cloud Generator. I've participated in game jams, but never a jam as open-ended as Proc Jam, and I wanted to try procedural art, something I've never done before. Uh, what I've submitted is the sky on a cloudy day. Each cloud is procedurally generated and different. I wanted to stick to the jam deadline, but I have a lot of things that I could approve. I feel like if I could work on this project for years, I feel like I could work on this project for years and never finish. You can play it with some variants at the builder link. So, this is like a view of some of the generated clouds. I'm gonna hit the builder link. Uh, so we can kind of change and make our own base radius. Let's make it. Oh, make it like this. Shape jitter. No, no, go back. All right, this is cool. Oh, debug. Interesting. And then you can go back to the animation and just watch them appear. Uh, it's pretty cool that they've made this. I quite like the look of all of these clouds. Clouds are so weird and random in the sky. Next. This is another thing that I'm just going to show you the page of. Sorry. It's called Jer... Yeah, that this um but basically it's a small island generator written in rust i don't know what rust is i don't know how to open any of these files even the readme isn't a type of file i can open i mean i can look at these tiles and the tiles look cool but that's not helpful they've got a picture here of a procedurally generative map and i guess that's what this can do there's little roads between what looks like towns and villages so you end up having a map that's not just biomes it's also buildings which is quite cool um yeah i don't know I quite like the look of this. It's cell based, I guess. Um, but yeah. And it also connects everything with roads. Who knows? If this is of use to you, enjoy it. Next.